trip margin. So this is a new topic that is included in our course. So what do you mean by trip margin? Now trip margin should only be considered when we are pulling out of the hole. So during pull out what happens because of the upward movement of string there is a drop in pressure at the bottom and this drop in pressure is called swap pressure. So swap pressure reduces the BHP and due to reduction in BHP during upward movement of string there is a possible chances of influx that might enter into the valve bore. So in order to prevent the drop in BHP what we have to do is we have to increase the mud weight to regain the original overbalance. So trip margin is nothing but it is used to compensate for the swabbing effect. In this well as you can see the hydrostatic pressure exerted because of 10 ppg mud which is acting downwards is 5200 psi and the formation pressure is 5000 psi. So how much is the overbalance? Overbalance is 200 psi. Whenever we lift our string and if we have MWD tool in our string then that will give us the data regarding how much the drop in pressure below the bit and let's say while upward movement of string there is a drop of 150 psi. So because of the swap pressure that is created because of the upward movement of string. So now the overbalance is left is 50 psi. So during pull out the well has only 50 psi overbalance and if the speed is increased then this overbalance will further reduce and might invite more influx. So in order to get original 200 PSI overbalance what I have to do I have to increase the BHP by 150 PSI. So I should increase hydrostatic pressure in the well bore by 150 PSI so that I will get 200 PSI during pull out. Obviously in static condition it will be 350 PSI overbalance. So hydrostatic pressure must be increased equal to 150 PSI by using an hydrostatic pressure formula or you can use the formula number 8 for IWCF trip margin formula. So if I wish to increase 150 PSI then 150 I am going with the hydrostatic pressure formula that 150 is the pressure that I need to increase in the well bore and the depth of well bore is 10,000 feet times constant and this number I have to calculate, mud weight I have to calculate. So if I solve this equation, I will get 0.288 ppg. So this is my trip margin. So original mud density was 10 ppg and if I consider 150 psi of overbalance extra or trip margin, then I have to add this much mud weight. So final answer is 10.288. But if you write 10.2 or 10.28, then that answer is wrong because trip margin or any sort of mud weight apart from maximum allowable mud weight rest all the mud weight should be increased by one decimal point. So what we have to write is we have to round up to 10.3. So this is the way you should calculate trip margin or if you want to use the formula then formula says trip margin or you can call it a safety margin divided by TVD times constant plus original mud weight. So if I want to solve the previous question with this formula then uh, I wanted to increase mud weight by 150 psi that is my trip margin divided by the depth of well was 10,000 feet times constant plus 10. 10 was the original mud density. So I get 0 0.288 plus 10. So 10.288 ppg and it has to be round up to 10.3 ppg. This is going to be my answer after including the trip margin of 150 psi. Now what is the disadvantage of trip margin? Now we need to compare two different conditions. Now in this case I am taking an overbalance by adding the mud weight. So if I want to reduce overbalance then I can't do unless and until I circulate a lighter fluid only then I will be able to reduce the overbalance 
whereas during well killing if i put some overbalance by closing choke that can easily be removed by opening the choke so there is no issue of reducing overbalance but in this case i won't be able to reduce the overbalance unless and until a lighter fluid is circulated across the well so that is the negative aspect of trip margin and if the trip margin calculated is too high then it might happen that it may fracture the formation or there may be a losses so we have to work very cautiously while calculating trip margin